Hello guys, this is Vitaria Expert, Us and Sam. Welcome back to another uh, Oblivion video, everyone. Welcome back, it's Oblivion. Uh, welcome back, it is... What day is it today? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, I am live streaming this, uh, but with no face cam, uh, because um, I want to save face cam for tomorrow's Rage 2 video. Uh, that's why I also got my microphone a little bit closer, so I'm going to... Stand back. Stand back! Like I'm standing up. That's what you do. You know when like those officers where like they, they have to stand up. You know, like, you know, because sitting down can be bad for you. That's what I should do. I don't know if my pop shield could... My pop shield! My, my mic will go that my, that high. That, <laughs> my mic can go up that high. No, my mic can go that high, but yeah. Um, bloody, I've exhausted myself and suddenly start the video. Just talking. Have you spoken hundred words already? Um, yeah. Stand up and do a video. I mean, last week I did a pretty crap video, you know, recording on my iPhone, but that was because of April Fools. Uh, but no, basically, yeah, welcome back to uh, what game's just called Oblivion. Yeah, I'm doing Rage 2 tomorrow. I was so close to doing Rage 2 tonight, uh, but I just thought, no, I'll feel better about myself uh, tomorrow, you know, because, yeah, you know, I've had a bit of even more bad news now, guys. Uh, apparently, my cat's got cancer. Yeah, our cat Benji was in the Vets yesterday, uh, same today, and he's got cancer. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what God's doing, but he's causing a lot of problems up there. <laughs> More like down here. But yeah, um, and there's just a lot of bad luck recently. Like, I know it's like each day something gets worse. Like I'm alright doing these videos, but I'm. You know what I mean? Like first of all, it's just this virus, isn't it? Like I'm off school, and then oh, I want to go to the airport. Can't can't go to the airport. I want to go and visit my nan and granddad then. Oh, I can't go and visit my nan and granddad. And then Oblivion crashes. Has the game crashed? Has the game crashed? I can still hear the music. No, surely it hasn't crashed. Someone says, no way. I think, yes way. Oblivion's crashed. It has. Oblivion's just crashed. Oh, well, it's an old game, so I'll let it off, because Rage 2, I scream and shout at it. <laughs> scream and shout at it. But no, um, I don't know, guys. It's just really weird at the moment, you know what I mean? Because, like, I've got, you know, you know, my granddad passed away literally last week, about a week ago, because he's got this virus, or he had had the virus. It is, it's like, every day it's getting worse and worse and worse. And sorry to start the video on such a, a gloomy start, but it is, isn't it? It's like it's getting worse and worse each day. Like, yeah, can't go to the airport, uh, visitor centre, I was pretty devastated about that, I was like, oh, here we go. And then, um, yeah, but I can still go to, you know, runway 23 left, as long as they're taking off on that runway. You know, we can go to the airport, me and my dad, you know, while this pandemic, because I just thought of it, oh, I'm off school because of it, but no, it affects everything, this virus. I mean, obviously now I know, but, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a joke. <laughs> like, today I literally just started yelling and screaming. Yelling and screaming, just going crazy in the car. I just did. I was just. I had enough of it. I am. I've just. You know, when you just reach a certain point with it. That's me. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed. Yeah, so. I don't know, guys. Um, how do you feel about it? <laughs> That's why I'm doing this live stream, so we can be politically correct. No, no. If anything, the other way around. Right, shall we try that again, shall we? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So, welcome back to Oblivion. No, no, no. And it is like that. Like, I can't see my nan and granddad. Then I can't go to the airport. And then, I'm not allowed at school. I know I'm doing it all with the wrong orders, but... Uh, and then, I can't go to the airport full stop. And then my granddad has got the virus, and he passes away. And then, what happened then? Um, my dad might have it. And he's on day 13. God knows how he hasn't got it, because he was literally giving CPR to my granddad on a couple of Thursday nights ago. And, I don't know, my nan's lonely. I think she was hallucinating last night, isn't a good thing. And then my cat's got bloody cancer. It's got a tumour in its tummy, you know, our cat Benji, who we've had since 2012. Yeah, so if it's really bad, we could just have to, you know what I mean, lethal injection, and just put him out of his misery, because my mum said, oh, he's a nice cat anyway. You know what I mean? It's like, what's next? What is next? Oh, God. Like, literally today I woke up and I was like, I bet today is going to be more bad news. More bad news. But one thing that is good is uh, I've got a new model. But two, uh, apparently the uh, death rates, not death rates, the uh, uh, United Kingdom, yeah, the uh, rates are going down. I know, finally, it was China, Italy, and then Spain. You know, it all, like, rises within a week. 
and then it calms down, doesn't it, with this virus? I, d I think it'll be like a, a short-term thing, this pandemic. I, I never knew it would be long, but now apparently it's coming down in uh, the United Kingdom now. Yeah, like 19 minutes ago, they said on the news, they said, there might be some hope in this country. And I was like, some hope? Some hope? You just want there to be some hope, do you? I know the news don't want to give out false claimants, but like, some hope? It's like, oh, oh, all this bad news, we're all so happy with it. Let's just have a lockdown for another 10 years, yeah? Wouldn't that be right? But there might be, oh God, there might be some hope. You know what I mean? It is like that. It's like not even a sigh of relief. If anything, it's an inconvenience saying some hope for the news because they just want to report the dullest and gloomiest news on earth. Oh, that's the news, isn't it? But no, I don't know. Today I've just found myself. Yeah, I've been busy. I've been um, putting my dad's green shed up. Yeah, I've been helping him. And I've been really busy in the garden recently. But it's really nice weather. It's not nice weather here, is it? Bloody something the news was wrong about was the weather here today. <laughs> and, um,. I don't know what else have I been doing. I've been planting some pots. Woke up early this morning, about 10, uh, because I heard a knock on the door. And it wasn't Amazon, it was a bloody book from Amazon. And then I started going on a rant saying, oh, bloody Amazon, oh, they say it was going to be dispatched today. 10 minutes later, get a on the door, I watch someone go downstairs, and I'm like, who's that? <laughs> Sam knocking upstairs, you dick. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and then my Gemini Jets uh, A320 has arrived. A319 has arrived, guys. Yeah, I've got a new model. Oh, God, I thought they were bubbles. <laughs> Why would they be bubbles? Uh, Wii Games says, and how is it? Oh, it's great. My uh, A319. Unfortunately, I dropped it before. I actually dropped it. I was showing it to my dad, and I, somehow I dropped it in the garden. But no, it's good. It's a 1 to 400. Uh, Gemini Jets United. Uh, something like U. Oh, no, N. NU76 UA or something. Quite a popular model. And yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, and obviously when dropping it, yeah, I've uh, accidentally damaged the landing gear and it's just fallen off. <laughs> so it didn't arrive broken, but I dropped it in the garden before. And my dad was like, you're clumsy, you. you're so clumsy. <laughs> yeah, because I was showing him it because he was like, I want to see it. And he was like, that's small. And I was like, yeah, because it's 1 to 400, it's collectors. And he was like, oh. I'm saying, well, how, you, how big do you expect it to be that big? And he's like, God, no. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I'm telling you. Mm. Wii Gaming says you've broken it already. Yeah, I have broken it, Wii Gaming. 40 people are watching. I've just been going on a rant about the virus. I think we're all sick of it. You know, like, week. You know, ooh. Because it was about, yeah, exactly, probably three weeks ago. You know, I got released from school. It, it didn't feel like a release. As you all know, I like being productive. I do, I like school, I actually. Enjoy it. I know it's a bit of a pain in the arse sometimes, but no, I enjoy having a routine in my day, I hate getting up for nothing, you know what I mean, or just don't get up, if there's no reason to get up, you know, have a purpose, a man with a purpose, my granddad used to say, you've got a purpose in life, you you get up in the morning, and you do that, <laughs> it's like he couldn't find the other words, you do that, and yeah, welcome to, I'm just at the Chicago's Town Pizza, oh, because I told my mum to get one, because I can't get Domino's, can't get pizza up, but no, um, apparently the death rates are going down in this country. Well, not death rates, but the infection rates are might be uh, soaring off a little bit. But don't open things immediately, they've said. Just give it maybe a month and then open things. But this vaccination, that's just something they can't get right. <laughs> it's like Apple with iPhones. <laughs> it's like Apple with iPhones, like a vaccination. Well, maybe, because iPhones don't get viruses, so if anything, they've got it right. <laughs> oh, look at these shots! Look at this! This is pure anger from the virus. Bloody Codoni Hole. Where did he go? He's in the bloody bushes. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I don't want to do that Thieves Guild quest anymore. I've made my mind up. Actually, don't. Not interested. Smile 24 says, I might donate you a model. Will you? You're going to donate me a model, are you? Oh, well, I'd love it. I would like... Uh, I I've already ordered a new one. I know you probably think I've got bloody money coming bleeding out my ears. <laughs> bleeding out my ears. I've ordered a um a uh, get this, an Iceland uh, seven five seven. Old livery for one hundred livery. So it looks uh looks like a you know, like Air Force One, it looks a bit like that. Um but now I've got an Iceland uh ha I've got, I've ordered an Iceland uh, uh seven five seven. Because why not? I was about to order the ones from Herpa. Herpa wings. I know I'm getting into all this 
collecting actually I'm um, uh, I've got money at the moment and I've had it for a little while and I'm just like I haven't spent it on anything I've just saved it because that's what I've been told to do <laughs> there's things I've wanted to buy and then Christmases have came around birthdays and then I've just got more and more and more and I just don't know what to do with it so at the moment I'm like how about I spend my money on things I get a you know get a thrill out of aviation so I'm just like do it do it I'm gonna try and copy aviation 18 no I'm not really and my dad said um we got a dining room downstairs but we use it literally twice a year for yeah Christmas that's it and we used it another time for when my granddad came around when my nan was in the hospital and we had um, a roast dinner in there. Literally, we use it twice a year and he's just like, we'll just eat in the conservatory so my dad's going to give me... Um, and my dad's good to me, isn't he? Oh yeah, I've got a good dad. Um, yeah, he said, um, I'll give you the dining room. He will, he's going to give me the dining room. I mean, it's only like, probably as big as your bedroom, but he said, um, y you're going you're gonna to do what those crazy people doing like get the, uh, the airport and stuff he said I'll give you the dining room if you so yeah my dad's gonna give me the dining room if I'm gonna buy like an airport not obviously you know like a Gemini Jets airport which is really expensive it's like 400 pounds so um money where is he <laughs> um yeah but I'm getting a 300 pound bursary from school we game says do it what an opportunity yeah I know Sonic 24 says I've got a runway um, but I painted it. You painted it. Yeah, because that's what Aviation 80, you know that YouTube, I'm not really inspired by him and I want to copy all his models, but I know, it's kind of something cool. He gives like updates. I've just realised, yeah, I watched him a bit last night and I was like, I realise what he does now. <laughs> Look at that, Aviation 80, you can fly. I realise what he does now, he like collects the models and he gives like, because uh, the other day I was thinking to myself, why is he talking? Why is he saying he's heading out to recording models, saying he's heading out to such and such Dallas because he does like Dallas Air Dallas 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 Airport um, updates from like a couple of days ago so I don't know my dad said that you could maybe buy an airport um, have a he said he would get rid of a dining table and I don't know maybe I could I don't know build a you know like DIY do it yourself like a like a big table or just a little plank of wood obviously not at the moment because <laughs> being queues closed, but my dad's quite a bit of a he likes DIY and all that. And um yeah. He said if you buy one of the airport things you can put it on there and put all your models and I'll give you the I'll give you the room. Literally my dad said that so if I collect enough models I wanna say I collect enough, I mean like probably over I don't know. I don't mean the sky marks ones, but like a uh, Smart twenty four says I've got that. I had to collect at least fifty before I bought the the airport, because there's no points. Yeah, I know. Literally, I might be doing that, guys. Will you put it on the Sam Lockett channel? I don't know. This is something you do in a pandemic. You find your interest. You buy things on Amazon, like play models. And then you invest, you negotiate with your dad. I didn't even have to negotiate. I just said, uh, I'm collecting a lot of models at the moment, uh, but I haven't got enough room in my, uh, in my room. Uh, and he's looking like you, idiot. And, and, and he said, Oh, I'll give you the dining room. And that was it. No, that's my dad, honestly. Just like that. <laughs> I'll give you the dining room. And I was like, what? And he's like, we only use it twice a year. I'll give you the dining room. And then he was saying he wasn't because I was misbehaving before about, yeah, I was moaning on about the virus. Literally, uh, today I've been good and bad. <laughs> Literally the equivalent of hot and cold. I've been uh, helping my dad with this flimsy green shed. Greenhouse, sorry. Um really pain to put together. I know it took us 20 minutes just to put together the door. It's me and my dad so I've been helping him. I know probably something in his will. You know I've been you know it's almost like oh, I, I didn't know you were I didn't even know who you are. Current bouncy for so if you get some cough. But no literally I don't know it's kind of crazy that. <laughs> my dad's going to give me bloody yeah give me the dining room. Because our house, we've got three bedrooms, one kitchen, one living room, a conservatory, and a bathroom. And then we've got like this dining room, but it used to be like, um, you know, it's damp. Oh dear, it's damp. And it's like got, um, yeah, yeah it used to be basically a garage um, where you parked your car. But the guy who lived here converted it into a dining room. 
but it didn't quite do it justice so my dad's kind of fixed it and other people have kind of fixed it but it's still quite a, a damp room you know you can tell it was a, a garage um because the window's not right <laughs> it's just been fitted in um and then my dad said you know um you can have it as like a, a downstairs attic for your planes I was saying, yeah, with the boilers in here and everything. Oh, sorry, the, the uh, central heating and, like, um, you know, like, all the stats and, like, the internet and, like, um, you know, all that, uh, the water meter and all that. Yeah, he said, oh, it's all right, it doesn't matter. No, literally. <laughs> so if I get enough models, guys, and I can't fit them all on my little shelf, um, I'm going to have to put them in the dining room and then probably get an airport and then... I know I might make live updates on the Sam Lockett channel, but maybe not commentary, I might just title it something like, because I don't really like to commentate on. I know, I've never done that. I've never done a commentary on the Sam Lockett channel. I've never done that with the SL Aviation crap. <laughs> Literally, I've never done that, so... The game says, well, you should. What live updates of Manchester? Oh, today at Manchester Airport, guys. This is an update of my anger, and people will be commenting, haven't we seen something like this before? Ah, you're copying thingy. You're copying Aviation 18. I'm like, uh, 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 but we're both 18 now. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's going to be a right squaddle, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know, maybe I could do it my way and maybe give live updates of Man. Because that's the thing, you can have an airport. Not like a like Manchester, identical, but you can have like an airport apron and then like the terminal, but you can kind of pretend what planes, if you collect the planes the Gemini jet, yeah, 1 to 400 models um, I'm just playing Oblivion and just talking about plane models, like it's not even relatable, if YouTube came across this I'd be like, ah ah, get it off the servers <laughs> but, you know what I mean? it is like that yeah, yeah, you can collect uh, models and then have an airport. Um, but I want enough models to put in the airport, if you know what I mean. So I want to collect the planes that fly into Manchester. Uh, so uh, yeah, before I actually wrote down a, you know, Excel, Microsoft Excel, yeah, I basically put all the models I might need. Might, yeah, I'm thinking about the future. I'm not just. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself because I can't go to... I know, can't go to the airport, replicate the airport. <laughs> replicate Manchester Visitor Park. Anyone from... <laughs> Look at the shield, it's like my nan's dishes. <laughs> These are my nan's disses, what does she make? Diss tracks now. Um, yeah, where were you? I was in the kitchen. Whipping up. Um, um, whipping up uh, curries for... My convivian. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> God knows. Oh. William says, yeah, do it. What, a diss track? No. Oh, I remember in 2018 I said I'd make a diss track on my school. <laughs> remember? <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me. Sometimes I think back and think that's not right. <laughs> that wasn't me. I could say that about me now, like two, two weeks' time. I'd be like, why was I collecting play models? But now uh, I want to collect planes that fly into Manchester. Like there's four easy jets. Um all at about thirty two pounds each on eBay. Uh I think they're like yeah, JC wings. And I've really got into it you know like you yeah, Cherry Exploits collecting a couple of these Gemini jet models. What's going on with that? Where have the unboxings on the Sam Lockett channel like that? I'm uh, maybe thinking of putting together. you know because the Gemini jet ones aren't a, a snap together. Um yeah I literally um <laughs> if they had like voice control in their planes, I'd be like, ah, happy customer. <laughs> um, yeah, um, mm. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, you know, you might have been realising, oh, he's into these Gemini jets, because uh, my first Gemini jet plane was a, um, and you, you end up saying Gemini jet so often it just becomes one word, like the Terraria expert, Gemini jet, Gemini jet, Gemini jet. Mm. That's why Aviation 18 just says Gemini jet, Gemini jet, because he really says it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ! Um, I just think I've been all the way down there in this video. No, I, I should really get on with Thieves Guild. Oh, what an idiot! <laughs> Muppet! Oh God, it's forty-two minutes past one. So um, nine. My granddad died exactly a week ago. God. Hmm. Just um, uh, should we do a minute silence after this video? Because if we do it now, it'll just be awkward. Yeah, my granddad died exactly a week ago. Yeah. 
40 minutes past 9, so... Funny enough, I was here one week ago, setting up a stupid April Fool's. I know that's quite a good April Fool's, some people were like, what? <sighs> Took me by surprise. Because <laughs> I literally ran down this hill, made up the fact that I had to have me tea, and that was it, that was literally the video, 11 minute. And also just interesting to see if anyone pays attention to how long a video, one of my videos are. Like if it's 11 minutes and it's a gaming video, something isn't right. <laughs> something isn't right. I've either uploaded the wrong video or something's gone terribly wrong with Final Cut. <laughs> yeah, I did a video last night, did I? Survival Land. I mean, sure, area. <laughs> I'm insane to Babylon because I played Minecraft all the way through. And I keep doing that recently. People have been really enjoying the Hunger Games. I won't be doing that for a while, I don't think. But now, um, the whole reason of collecting these models at the moment is because, yeah, today I kind of. I was sitting in the garden, nice weather, sweating after building the shed. Shed! Sorry, the bloody door for the greenhouse. Oh, it's making your mind up. And I just came to like, the realization that, like, hmm, maybe. What my dad said before about because there's no point getting having a dining room not as my second room but almost like um because my uh yeah she's died too um nan's friend barbara she moved into a house and in her is bear in mind is a bungalow in the attic the guy left like a massive train train track collection so i want to kind of collect an airport collection i actually do want to do that why why not do that when you love planes i do i've it's no, it's not like an on and off, because that's what my nan says, she's like, um, oh, uh, and what's your next interest going to be? And I'm like, but I've liked planes ever since 2014, I have. I've loved pl aviation ever since 2014. It's changed my life for the better. <laughs> and I think it has. It Sometimes, you know, when, oh, sorry, when we're allowed out as human, when, when, we're, when we're allowed to be human beings, guys, when we have human rights... I'm only going to get done for this. When we have human rights, when we're allowed outside, yeah, I'd like to go to the airport. <sighs> but when we're getting treated like some sort of animal that's gone and extinct, locked down. Yeah, I was saying all this and my dad was like, oh, just calm down. I was blabbing on about the NHS today. Even though they're doing a, a pretty good job. That's me. I just lose it and just have a... I start finger pointing. I do. I'm like that, a finger point. I'm, you did it. I don't care if it was gravity, you did it. My horrible finger comes out and everything. Look, his scroll is a fire hazard. You, my finger's very long, you did it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at the funny rhino's bombs. Am I meant to be in here? Sorry, am I interfering the... I think I'm interfering the... Uh, the sargery. The sargery! I'm definitely getting this virus. I've got a blocked nose. I don't think that's a symptom. I don't know. I feel like I kind of have got a bit of it. I've definitely got a bit of a stuffy nose at the moment. I wouldn't uh, decline that. <laughs> yeah. The game says, no, you don't have it. No, I don't have it. I don't think I have it. Even though I said I have it. Make your mind up. I'm really twisted. I'm like James Charles. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't know what I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we having to go at him now? Someone I never have a go at. You can't have a go at him because... You know when someone's just not worth having a go at just because it's... It's just insulted itself. Yeah. It's kind of like a clown. You don't have to point a finger. Oh, here we go again. Blaming it on the clowns. Crowns, the coronavirus. You have a clown virus. No, um, yeah, you, you can't say to a clown, you look ridiculous and you look stupid and don't act like a fool. Because it's a clown. It's what it's meant to do. Say to a pig, don't go in the mud, don't be messy. I mean, it wouldn't understand it, but so won't the clown, but it won't mean anything to the pig because it's nature. Like, ugh. Tell me not to step in the mud and be smelly. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do that all, all at once. James Charles, you can't say to him, Oh, you're, you're weird. You're an odd person. Because that's all he ever knows. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't say to a clown, You look stupid and ridiculous. Well, don't say that to James Charles, because he already is that. Uh, but he is, he's like, he is like a clown. <laughs> 
A clown wearing a crown. Exactly. A prince. Uh, a queen. That's it. He's a queen. <laughs> He's a queen. <laughs> That's it, guys. My mate Luke and Robert's dad calls them queens. Like, ah, oh, you pair of queens. What are you doing? <laughs> it's funny. Oh, God. Sorry, Luke and Robert, if you're watching this. Hey, you won't be watching this, I guarantee. If you're watching this, I'll give you my next Gemini Jets plane. But no, um, yeah. I know, I was thinking maybe I should. Because what's the point of having... No, my dad is literally going to give me... It's like a... Just a little... Not really my room, but just kind of like my model collection room. He said, you can have it and stuff. We'll um, build you a DIY desk and we'll take out some of the crappy files. And you can maybe have a filing cabinet for you. Because I make a load of notes, don't I? About aviation. I do, I make a load of... When I see a plane in the sky, I'm like, Ooh, write it down. I know, why would I need a filing cabinet for a little notebook? Sounds like I'm a bloody employer. <laughs> <laughs> um, he might give me, um, he said, uh, maybe for Christmas next year you can have a glass, uh, a glass, um, obviously see-through, uh, a glass uh, cupboard, so you can put your planes in with lights. And I was like, yeah, good idea. Oh god, there's a spider on my roof. Dang just dangles down on my head, and I'm like, there's something hairier on my hair. What's that? Big hairy spider. <laughs> oh god. My mate Rob was uh, touching a um, a branch, um, and he said the other day, yeah, when I went last went out with him, and he said this branch feels like a big hairy spider, <laughs> and we all just started laughing. <laughs> yeah, I've got videos actually of us gooning around, but I don't think you guys want to see it. Okay, if this video, if I die one more time in this video, um, I'll upload that. I will. I'll, I've got things on my phone. I was looking at them the other day and I was like, don't we act stupid? <laughs> you know, when we're with our mates. I'm not talking about me. Don't we all act stupid in front of our mates? We speak different, we act different. And we, you know, if we were spying on each other, we wouldn't know who was who. Because like, hang on. Rob. He's Irish. He pretends, you know what I mean? My sister. She, she does all this FaceTime and then she speaks like... A horse commentator, she's like, uh, do you want me to do that? No. Uh, I mean, um, I, I don't really think so. I mean, you, you, you could if you wanted to, uh, but um, I don't really see why. Um, but you can still uh, do it when, uh, I mean, uh, Roblox characters, I mean, sometimes they're okay, but... Most of the time, they're, they're just not good enough. Uh, so I, so I went into the store and 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 and, and, I, and I couldn't find them. Uh, so I, so 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 I had to pay more. So she has like this um this uh at the end of every. And I, that's not Anna. She's just doing that because she wants to sound smart. If you want to sound smart in front of your mates, don't act different. Just use different words. I don't mean foreign words. That's what I do. I try to act all intellectual in front of Luca Robert. Luca Robert, <laughs> Robert the Luke, Luke and Robert, and the, went up to them and said, um, "You're right," yeah, and said, "Um, you don't, you don't think um anyone today has been doing any um any uh, what did I say um uh, dozing around?" Uh, and I said it in a way, and they both looked like what's up with Sam? And I just said, oh, "I'm just in tell, just checking if you know what, what things mean, guys." Now saying things like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the other day, I learnt a new word. Keel over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, they're like, what does that mean, Sam? And I was like, you know when you have a heart attack in the garden? And I'm like, yes, Sam. And my mate Luke does this thing. My mum was telling me yeah, before, like, uh, sometimes, you know when people like eye-to-eye -eye contact? And I think that girl does it at the airport. She starts looking, like, at your hair and then, like, you know, because they get bored of looking in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't look at people's eyes. I just look at the space between. I just look at the space. So, if you're awkward, if you're speaking to a girl or a teacher and they've got nice eyes and you're a bit like Matthew Wilcox, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> not saying Matthew Wilcox is a girl. He's a little bit, but keep that to him. Um, James Charles. I don't know. Um, yeah, Matthew Wilcox is a bit awkward around girls. Um, and yeah, um, yeah. I, I said to Matthew once... Um, yeah, Matthew, when you're looking in their eyes, don't. And he was like, 
Well, that's rude, Sam. I, 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 I don't want to ignore them. I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to see their eyes. You know, because Matthew's all hyperactive and stuff. Um, and yeah. I said, Matthew, don't look into their eyes. Just look at the, just look at the space between your eyes and theirs. And so go cross-eyed. <laughs> go cross-eyed. <laughs> so if you're speaking to someone, guys, next time you speak to your mom or your dad or your girlfriend, don't look into her eyes. Just look at the, the space between mm. their eyes. Just, you're still looking in their eyes, but it's like me saying, oh, I'm looking at my computer right now. I'm looking at my monitor, playing Xbox Oblivion. But I'm not looking at it, I'm just looking at the, the distance between my monitor and me. So I'm just looking at the air between. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the, the air between my monitor and my eyes. So I'm not looking at my monitor, I'm just looking at the air between. <laughs> That's ridiculous, but your eyes are focused on it. I know, it's stupid. It's like a camera. It's like you saying, oh, I can't get focus on this, on this bit of air. So I'll just have to get focus on this. Oh, Gemini Jet. You probably think I'm getting paid every time I say Gemini Jets, don't you? Oh, another another 20. Here we go. <laughs> Did you know, guys, I have a lot of Gemini Jets. 30. <laughs> a lot of people are sneezing. But anyway, more about my Gemini Jets. 40. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Get off his money. There we are. Can afford another die cast. 40. Might win an Aer Lingus soon. Yeah, Gemini Jets. Yeah, very good Gemini Jets. Uh, Gemini Jets. There we go. 30. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I might want a um, I want a two hundred scale model. If anything, I'm pissing them off. Uh, yeah, I might want to. Yeah, Gemini jets are good. I mean, the thing about Gemini jets, I mean Gemini jets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Gemini jets. Oh my god, I've said Gemini jets like three times. How many times have I said Gemini jets, guys? Here we go. Ninety, ninety pound. Uh, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, oh, we gaming. Uh, I said something uh, about Gemini jets. Yeah, we gaming. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Gemini jets. Here we are one hundred and ten. Um, uh, are we gaming? Sorry, sorry. Oh no, that was a question from um, uh, Smart Twenty Four. Oh, oh yeah, Gemini jets. Uh, what do you mean, Gemini jets? Uh, Gemini. Jets. Oh, it just says Gemini Jets. Here we go. 150. Here we go. 150 pounds. <laughs> Gemini Jets are just giving up the money. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to some crying laughing. Yeah, and imagine if you did that. You know, when you get paid to say McDonald's in your video. Mm. And you get like. <laughs> with your promo codes halfway through your video. Like, hey, if you give a code out to your audience, you get 50% off. And I'm like, yeah. That's never happened to me. Because McDonald's don't even know me. I mean, they might do the amount of times I bought their lattes. Because I've got so many of those, you know, you stick the bean on the, the card. And if you get six beans on a card, you know, customer loyalty. It's not customer loyalty, it's anything. It's, it's bragging, it's breeding, it's trying to get you to buy more of something. I can't play Oblivion. <laughs> but no, yeah, I might, um collect all the planes of Manchester. Like I saw a 2E767 before. It wasn't GOBYH, my favourite 767 to date, but I did see a couple of EasyJet A320s, um, diecast ones from Herpa on eBay. Uh, click and collect, so local co-op will probably have a, an Amazon delivery place in it. I think it does. I just don't want to go into co-op at the moment because they're all... I know we, we bought these crisps the other day and they've gone stale. I mean that is just a dose of what how good co-op are during hard times. I mean Marks and Spencers are doing fantastic. Um, Tesco were doing really well. You just stepped into your own trap you muppets. Oh my god this place is big isn't it? Is this a wizard's den or is it Bandits, clean bandit. You want that a bit longer? <laughs> yeah, we've got a. Oh my god, it's crowded! Oh, it's crowded! See, if this was Rage 2, you'd be using all your your stuff like mad. Yes, collect every single plane that flies into Manchester. Not every single. I'm gonna maybe try and buy four easy jets. You know when you go Amazon and like quantity, <laughs> quality, <laughs> no quantity. Alright, this is a bit of a ask for, isn't it? Look how many there are. Look how many there are! It's not fair! I'm going to do a critical strike. Look at it! It's like bloody... You've said the wrong thing at a... Yeah, at a funeral. Oh, sorry if you want. Sorry. No bloody going after you. I don't think they would have the time to. 
<laughs> You'd be surprised. Whoa, 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 hang on. Why does the game stop when I'm hurt? Here we go. We're sleeping all night. We're doing it, like, and we're doing it. Nah, no, I don't think that's how the song goes. I've given up with Katy Paddy's. This is how we do. I don't know what it's called. I should listen to it and find out the lyrics and then get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're gonna piss out that song. Like, this is how we do. Yeah. Every time I say something, yeah, it's something new. Something new arises and it's funnier. Quite the opposite of every day at a moment. Something. I know. It's like. I know it will venture down, but it's almost like they're cramming God. I don't believe in God, but you never know who's bloody up there. Matthew Wilcox is wrong. There is a man with a beard. Absorb health. What? Um. <laughs> repair hammer. Um. How come they're cramming? Or oh, at a moment, at least in my life. Every negative that could happen in life, why are they, why are they? Why is it being crammed all into such a small bit of time? At a moment, like my cat could die. Benji, he's got a stomach tumour. He could have, we don't know if it's 100% certified, but it's in a place in the stomach where it's really difficult to operate on so it could lead to complications which isn't good um oh, where am i going now i just saw a tree on the wall oh, bloody help um uh, and then you know my granddad dies and uh, my nan thinks he's gonna come back but you know i, I don't know i mean yeah i can now say in my life i've, I've lost someone in my life now um you know, it's virus. I mean, that's affecting us all. I can't go to the airport. You know, you, you, see, you hear the, about these kids that, you know, knock around on the street and they're causing trouble. I mean, I'm, I am the complete opposite of that. I go to the airport and cause trouble. No, I don't really. It's like I sexually, I sexually abuse one of the staff online. No. Twice as worse, mate. But, you know what I mean? It is like, why, why is this all happening to all of us. I mean, yeah, what I said last night about like maybe nature is trying to cut back the numbers on the human race right now and be like, right, that bloody human race, they've got to, you know, nature could be turned against us, you never know. Like almost like cutting back on the numbers, like let's get rid of a couple of human beings and give them this virus. I mean, nature doesn't have a brain, but you never know. It could just be. One of those phenomenons. <laughs> yeah, phenomenons. Sounds like a biscuit. Have you had your phenomenons? Dip your phenomenons in the milk. Milk homonoms. Mil. He <laughs> said more commonoms. <laughs> milk condoms. <laughs> it's not the Australian condom, it's the milk condom. What's a milk condom? God knows. Sounds like something a cow would have. <laughs> a cow! <laughs> yeah, Lawton Lawton Lewis. <laughs> Lawton Lewis. <laughs> With ki cow condoms. But now it's like everything's going wrong at the moment, isn't it? Only a couple things. But losing my granddad last week was not I wouldn't say not unexpected, but it was just one of those things that's like appreciate life. And every day something else has arised, like Benji's ill, my cat. Our cat Benji, he's ill. So, take him to the vets, find out he's got, he's a ball cancer, stomach cancer, he's got a tumour in his stomach, and it could be spreading over to his appendix. You know, the chances of that happening, right as all this is happening, right as my granddad dies, I mean, I feel like it's more tied into one. It is, my granddad dies because of a virus, we can't go out because of a virus. But the cat thing, maybe the cat's got the virus, I don't know, but, no. It's got a stomach tumour. Maybe the stomach tumour has been developing over a long time and we just had to... Just happen to take him to the vets to find out he's got a stomach tumour. Just right now. Because we've got nothing better to do. You know, because people have got a lot of free time at a moment. I know something we wish we all had. But something at a moment we wish we didn't have. It's one of those things, isn't it? That's the thing about luxuries. You can't have too many of them. Because you don't... You won't, you won't know how to... Appreciate them. Free time. It's good every now and again. But not all the time. Sometimes you need to be put in your place. And 
have to work for an occasion or yeah for a luxury it's like that isn't it it is like that that's why people who are rich are ignorant because we don't know any better um and yeah so too much free time can cause you to be bored and then boredom is just horrible when you're busy you can be stressed and you want to look forward to your free time um but i think everything in small doses um is a better lifestyle if you know what i mean so the, the things we like in small doses like holidays if you went on a holiday all the time i think you'd just be sick of it in the end a bit like free time if you waited really long for a holiday i reckon it'd be a really good holiday a bit like in 2014 i only for me um i hadn't been away all of us uh, we hadn't been away for five years abroad Went in 2014. Still to this date, the best holiday I've ever been on. Literally. I knew Lanzarote was pretty good, but that was only because it was different. But in the end, you know, we were getting sick of Menorca. But we only went there once a year. So sometimes you need to cut back on... Consistency. Do difference. Or just have a routine. That's it. And if you found something that's not nice... Go back to your old ways and try and figure out how to do it again. I'm only, I'm only saying that because I lost my YouTube videos and now I'm thinking everyone's in a similar bloody situation as me. I'm actually going to go in for it. I'm going to go into this. I'm going to go gorilla. <laughs> I'm going to go gorilla. <laughs> Jesus. But now it is. Hope your cat gets better. Thanks, Smart24. What's, what's that? I've fallen on the floor. This isn't Rage 2. How have I fallen on the floor? Tripping over? Really? Is that a thing? Is that even a thing? Tripping over? I'll be, I'll be playing Minecraft next and I'll trip over like a bloody flower or get like me, me bloody hands or like you know like my cape I wear in Survival Island. I'll get it stuck in the door and I'll be like Bl never knew bloody Minecraft was so into how the real world is like getting me bag stuck on the railings and going halfway upside down at school. That happened to me. I think we all remember. If you collect the whole of a Manchester, uh, we games obsessed. <laughs> if, if you collect the whole of a Manchester airspace, um, how will you get cargo? Cargo planes are very easy. Yeah, because Gemini jets do. Uh, I think FedEx. Uh, Gemini jets normally do um, national airlines, so like British Airways, Aer Lingus. Um, 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 mainly American airlines, Southwest. Actually, you see a really nice Southwest the other day on Gemini Jets' new releases. Um, yeah, I've actually got one of the new releases, the IL-62 Cubana. Um, um, well, what's one we called? Matt, Matt Marianka? Matt, Matt, Marianka? Malianka? I don't know what it's called. Um, Ma Marianka, that's a nice livery. Um, A330, um, but I think that's from um, Herper, I think. Yeah. NG models. God, Smart24, you're exactly like me, aren't you? <laughs> I've never collected an NG model. Um, well, he says, uh, don't collect Herper becoming uh, polystyrene wings rip off. Do they? Oh, Christ. Oh god, I'm thinking this bloody fertile from Rage 2. You're clicking over focus buttons. I'm playing too many games, that's it. Oblivion. Oh god, everyone's saying different. Half people are talking about bloody airplane models, and half of people are talking about what. Doom Eternal. I'll be playing Doom Eternal after. I'm gonna shit myself in midair. Look at this! Um. <laughs> I'll be playing the Doom Eternal after Rage 2. I've said it hundreds of times. <laughs> Well, let me complete Rage 2. I know everyone's very excited because everyone likes Doom. I know everyone likes Doom on the channel. It's something I think I did well in 2018 or 2019. I don't know which one was better. I haven't got the 2018 videos uh, expired. I think someone's got them somewhere. I bet someone's got them. Because someone said, hey, do you want any videos I downloaded of yours ages ago when I had no internet? I know what an inconvenience. 
put an inconvenience is watching my videos, but having no internet is even more of an inconvenience. But downloading my videos, that's like the ultimate inconvenience. But like me getting into school and no teachers there. I have to bring in 10. First day though. Spare substitute teacher, canteen, staff. All because Sam Lockett wants to go in. One, one, one man's, what, more like one child, one child's need to go in, inconveniences for adults. I know, that is the definition of being an inconvenience. I've only my school that will do that for me. There's a head of, uh, um, what's it called, student safeguarding, Dan Hayden, yeah, he says, um, he said, uh, Sam's got, um, rights to have, um, Additional, that's it, additional education, so I can basically open the school if I need it, even in the summer holidays, just if I need to use the facilities. <laughs> yeah, like the trampolines. <laughs> oh, I got Mr. Connolly's, <laughs> I don't know, bloody flute. Mr. Connolly's flute? <laughs> oh, why would he have a flute? I don't know. Take the can, Jake McCann. <laughs> Jake McCann's food. <laughs> I went into the <laughs> kitchen before. And you know that pizza? I used to have pizza with my old mate, Jake McCann. Um, he's a bit of a scumbag. And uh, I think his parents are on um, benefits, but now I think they've got a bit of money. And I mean a bit of money. They've got four BMWs on the drive. And, but we still live in a little shoddy little house. I think we live in a nice area. They live near a bloody council house district, but... I know, I, we live in more like, um, like a village, but there's like a lot of, there's a couple of semi-detached, but they're more like bungalows. More just like a, kind of like just a modern, kind of like, um, dormer roofs, you know, like dormer roofs, just like a, a line of dormer roofs, that's where I live. And you go down like a, a road, a, it's kind of like a cul-de-sac or like a close where I live, it's like a close, like a T-junction, and the road goes like a T, and then I live in like a little white house. At the end, and it's uh, pretty cosy. It's like a little farmhouse. It is. It's like a little farmhouse. Little do you know, it's where technology grows. It's where technology grows. Oh, the apple! <laughs> Just amazing, isn't it? Got all this nature outside, and then they're doing technology upstairs. It's amazing. Just how everything's so evolved. He died on the utter. On the utter. <laughs> <laughs> on the altar. <laughs> he died on the nutter. <laughs> uh oh. He died on the altar. If I do all this, I'll be so happy. <laughs> collect Manchester. He, you know, Wii Games says, how are you going to collect military, I mean? Military? Oh, military is easy too. I don't think Manchester has military. We might do. Um, But only maybe for like an air show, but I don't think Manchester. No, Manchester's a... A, a public communal airport. Uh, it's not a bloody airfield, you know, for military, a military operational airport, you know. Because like, the East Midlands airport's cargo. East Midlands is cargo. Birmingham is passenger um, carrier airport. And then London Heathrow is both. Yeah, and then Stansted is, oh, it's owned by EasyJet, and, um, I don't know, um, Luton, EasyJet, small, kind of like, um, hub to hub kind of routes. I don't think Luton's a hub, but it's a hub for EasyJet. Because I don't think EasyJet fly into Heathrow, it's not, he Heathrow Airport is home for Virgin Atlantic, British Airways, and, oh god, uh, uh that's it, two of the main British carriers. That's it, yeah. Manchester was home for uh, Jet 2, Thomas Cook, Monarch. Um, Manchester's had a fair dose of a lot of, yeah, package holidays. Uh, East, Lim yeah, East, L East Midlands is cargo, so you DH DHL, um, FedEx. Yeah, but we'll collect. Because apparently the um, Gemini Jet's uh, 7. Five seven, and the um, A three thirty molds apparently are the best, and um, JC wings are um, really 
good at making the A350 model because it's quite a complex mould to get right the A350. I don't know how. A350 looks quite... Oh yeah, I just noticed the other day Skymarks have buggered up the Dreamliner. Yeah, not not a huge amount, but the nose on my Dreamliner, it's pointy. It's a little bit pointy. It's got the kind of like sloped nose. A bit like the Comet. The, um... What was the Comet made by? Was it the Heveland Comet? Yeah, the Comet. And it's, that has a sloped nose. The Dreamliner from Skymarks, it's got like a protruding nose. Like the 7... 737, seven, but it slopes. Skymarks are alright, but not great on the detail, I would say. They're a bit lacking behind. But the 1 to 400 models from um, Gemini Jets, yeah, they're quite delicate. Because I dropped literally my A319 I bought today. It arrived in the garden and the wheel's fallen off, so I have to get some Gorilla Glue. I, I can fix it. I've done Gorilla Glue before. I've glued me bloody. <laughs> glued me welly to that girl's backside in the airport. I've done that millions of times. <laughs> and <laughs> the aftermath looked like this. <laughs> Ow, everyone said. Mm. Oh, look at that, I've just killed everyone! <laughs> We've all got like silly pants. <laughs> fur greaves. He's a cat, he would have fur greaves. More like purr. Purr greaves. Oh, then that's not even funny, is it? But now I might collect the whole of the Manchester um, timetable for the planes, because that's what. Um, I think he does, doesn't he? What's his name? Aviation 18, he collects the whole of a Dallas. Um, Dulles. I think it's Dulles, not Dallas. Dallas is Texas and Washington is Dulles. Dulles Airport. You can kind of just imagine that the airport is Dulles International. Um, it doesn't have to exactly be like a, a replica. You all know. Um, oh yeah, uh, Smart24, uh, what airport are you replicating and what because that's it you have Gemini jets have an airport we have a gate um, and then like a terminal um, you can buy luggage carts and stuff to go along with it but apart from that it's all up to your imagination for what airport that could be I, I don't really like that I like it being the exact copy if you know what I mean of an airport but I know that would just be a massive strain on Gemini jets oh nearly so you guys have got to time it right. Like that. What's going on now? Skeletons. Weakest crap in the world. And the whales. My scouts coming through. My scouts gloom. Look at him walking. It's like, it's after midnight. Something looking in the dark. Really, Michael Jackson probably looks like this now, doesn't he? Turning in his grave. <laughs> woo -hoo! woo -hoo! Go on, Michael Jackson. I think it'd be a bit more crooked than that, wouldn't he? <laughs> Taking his head, would be all, his skull would be all burned and black when he burns his head. Wee! <laughs> hey, Jackson! Injection! Injection! Michael Jackson's having an injection. Jackson, get out the fire! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> his head just been flying off. Um. Addy, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's all yeah. <laughs> oh god. Smell oh, criminal. Shut up, Michael Jackson. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, what, you, what airport are you replicating, Smart 24? Heathrow, I've got a lot of BA 777s. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because in order to kind of replicate a runway at an airport, you've got to kind of have. Yeah, you've got to have the right planes. The right livery airlines that fly into that direct airport if you're a model collector. I mean, you can collect them just for aesthetic purposes, but which what well, was I was doing until today. Because Manchester doesn't have an A340 Virgin going in. Manchester doesn't have an IL-62 going in. A Russian aircraft rip-off of a VC-10. And it doesn't have an A319 United going in. 
It doesn't have that, so I'm going to start collecting aircraft that fly into Manchester. Be a little bit harder, because I know American models are very popular. Because you can probably order like 10, I don't know, Southwest 737s. And probably come to the total of £200, maybe. £100. <laughs> but that, you know, that's enough for... Maybe not ten, five. Okay, five. How I didn't go on this. Five Gemini jets. One to four hundred models. Um, Southwest seven three sevens. I think they're forty four pounds. So yeah, forty four pounds times five. Fifty. No, fifty. Forty. That's two hundred pounds. For five Gemini jet things. So I'm going to probably buy four easy jet A320s um, or A319s. But they're all on eBay. They're all for £39. £30, I'm going to buy four of them. So that's like 39 Yeah. He's screaming. 80. 80. 78. I was trying to add it all up in my head. So 60, 30, 39, at 39, Times one thirty one thirty one forty two one hundred and forty two pounds for four easy jet A three twenties from Herper just to replicate Manchester airspace <laughs> Ryanair as well yeah I've got five of them planned yeah I've got uh, an XL thing I should really like take a screenshot and like make a community post of it, but I've literally got um, how many models I want for... Um, have you even done my Minecraft? Uh, honestly, in fact, you know what? I'll show you. On screen now, there should be pictures of what what I want <laughs> to happen. Of the planes I... Now, I've got red for where it's... Um, yeah. Haven't collected, and green's collected. The opponent notice I've got an Iceland. Yeah, so because I've already booked it. Booked it? I've It's coming. So, yeah. I also have done my Minecraft world. Because I want to replicate maybe the planes going out on my Minecraft world. Hello again. <laughs> Woohoo! He's got a bit more skin on him. <laughs> uh, we games, are you going to pay for all of it? God knows we gaming. Looks like you've bloody seen the thing. Now, I overlay it once this video is out on YouTube. How will I pay for all of the models? I don't know. I'm getting a £300 bursary from the school. Sounds like birthday bursary. Um so that'll probably help me. And I just really want to be ambitious. I want to be careful with my money, because that's what my granddad said. Always have your wants and then your needs. I don't want to waste all my money. And I've got quite a bit of it at the moment. From saving up birthdays and stuff. That's all I'll say. But it looks like Minecraft glass. Uh, but <laughs> but <laughs> no, I, I will. I'll invest and stuff. Bigger aircrafts will be easier to collect. Yeah, I know. Because an easy jet model isn't much. Um, are they all going to be diecast? Yeah, they are. For one to four hundred models, are very very fragile. But if you get the Gemini jets one to two hundred, they're not as fragile. Because um, bigger it is, stronger the build is. Because it's only kind of very, very thin sheets of. What what metal do we use for the Gemini? Is it zerch or some sort of iron? Some z z not zinc. Z some sort of iron. Some sort of metal. Z something z metal. Um, I'm not talking about the pH scale, but um, yeah, I don't know. I only dropped it in the garden. And he probably fell three, 
three feet and the landing gear snapped on it it has on my but that's my fault it arrived in perfect condition I even opened it and checked the wheels because that's what you're meant to do and I'm learning Aviation 18 has been going since 2015 I've been going since 2014 but I'm learning off someone who's younger than me but he's older than me because he's 18 I'm a dickhead I'm, I'm an absolute dickhead I am so I'm I just, I just think I'm better than everyone because I've been on YouTube for a little while ridiculous you start first yeah it yeah, means nothing. Means nothing. He's collected more. He's more experienced. I'm not gonna start pretending to be a wannabe. But now I'll collect some. We get into that moment. I'm collecting the PPC Holland and Sky Marks. Are you? How many have you got? He says he's got uh, two e PPC Holland. And sky marks. Yeah, what's the sky? What sky marks is it? What? What livery is it? A380. Oh, that's nice. A380, guys. And Alaska Air. And Alaska Air. I would be guessing that's in 737, the Alaska Air. See, I still want to collect the sky marks, but. I'm hugely put off by the fact that they can't get their wings right. Um, and the fact that my... Because when you... I mean, there's no point collecting plane models if you don't even know your planes. You know, collecting plane models is like a, a, the next step, if you know what I mean. That's like a faceet, isn't it? That's like a absolute aero geek collecting plane models. Because... If I got a box, right? If I got a box and it was an A340, and let's say it was missing, it only had two. It had two buggies. The A340 has two buggies and one nose wheel. I'd look at it and I'd be like, it's going back. Most people would be like, ah! And that's why so many people get fooled by all these cheap models out there. You know what? I'd send it back, because the A340 doesn't have two wheel buggies. Has three. Has one in the middle. The A340 has over, over underwing landing gear, and the fuselage landing gear, and another one on the other wing. Four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen tires. Like the triple seven. It's got fourteen tires. The A340. It's got fourteen. If it came with ten tires. Like the A3, yeah, like the A310, like the A38, A330, I'd send it back. I would. I'm just definitely joking, yes, A10. No, I'd send it back, or if I got a, I don't know, a 767, and for example, we've got the, um, I mean, it's not a huge issue, but like, because some of the Gemini jets can have a, a tilted landing gear. If a landing gear on the 767 was tilting back, so off, like the A330, I'd send it back. Because the 767 hasn't got... It's got a, a forward landing gear 767, so it hangs downwards in a way. So the front tyres on the landing gear over, under the wing hang forward. Whether one's at the back are hanging above because they're tilted by a, a strud. Not a strud, eh? Um, I think it's got like a gear positioner or something. It's basically like a, it pumps hydraulic fluid. It's a bit like, uh, I don't know, if you've got something long and straight, yeah, you willy. Now, um, get, um, I don't know, what could you get? A pen. Get a pen right now. And place. I'm going to explain how landing gears work on a plane, and it's going to be the most boringest thing you ever listen to. But trust me, it's interesting. Get your finger on the pen, right? Place first of all, place the pen horizontal, so basically lie it flat, and then get your fingers. Get the top of a pen, you know where you, the pointy bit, you know where the, um, is it graphite? It's graphite, isn't it? The graphite is. So get your fingers near that bit, 
and then start to tilt the pen up, you'll notice the back of the pen, um, you know, the little red bit, um, is like, um, or, you know, the clicker, if you've got a, I should have said pencil, say, using a pen here, ha <laughs> look, he just died like that, a pen, yeah, where the clicky bit is, that's still on the ground, but it's creating like, um, a slope, isn't it, like a slide, you've got your, your hand, your fingers, near the bit where you draw with on the pen, so right with, hung it up, so the back of a pen is still on the ground, and the front of a pen is in the air. Now pretend your fingers have a strut on an aircraft buggy, that strut is basically controlling, it's not really hydraulic fluid, but in mid-air it is, um, that, that strut is your, your, your fingers, that's controlling the tilt axis. But now, place your fingers at the back of a pen, put the pen down, put your fingers at the back of a pen, you'll notice the back of a pen raises before the, the front of the pen. Now that's a 767 landing gear because the strut is at the back. That's how landing gears work on a plane. Very easy, very simple. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not, I just look. I'm not an aeronautical engineer. I mean, this bloody idiot's walking around with an axe, so at least I'm not as bad as him. Ah, Sigusa! Oh! Just go away! <laughs> so that's a bit of knowledge for you. We games that I never knew. <laughs> no, you don't know when you're not watching the Throw Expert video, but when you are, you do. So. You learn something new every day. Who knew you could learn something about a plane with a pencil? Or a pen. <laughs> learn about pens with planes, yeah. Why do I keep hearing loud squeals? My sister has this friend called Layla, and I don't know why she does it, but whenever she's speaking to her, she like squeals really loud and like laughs. Is it like some sort of like rat talk or mouse talk? I don't know, it's really weird. When she's speaking to anyone else, she's not squealing. When she's speaking to Layla, more like squealer. The hell? Put her down, not the cat. <laughs> Oh god, I don't know if a cat's going to be put down, but my mum said it's the right thing to do if a cat has got cancer and it's, you know, it would be the right thing to do just to put Benji down. But we've got a cat called Misty and she's 15, right? Older than Benji by five years and she's absolutely, a, she's a female, she's horrible. She's a horrible female cat, she's tortoise shell, she's aggressive, she's vi violent, she's skinny. When I was little my gran used to call her Skinny Mini. And then now she's living with us because Mary got a dog. Mary always used to go, yeah, 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 Mike, yeah, 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 Mike, yeah, 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 yeah. Stunk like fish fingers as well. <laughs> Bit like Jay. Yeah, what did I say before in my kitchen? I opened the window. I mean, <laughs> I, opened, I opened the fridge door and I said, it smells like Jake's McCann food. Because <laughs> he used to have like, fish fingers and the pizza smelled horrible and cheap. And I was like, Smells like Jake's McCann food. I meant to say Jake, Jake McCann's food. Smells like Jake McCann's food. Me, me mum was like, God, you haven't seen him for a while. I was like, yeah, for a reason. Poked his eye out through the letterbox because he wanted to come to my birthday. And I said, no, only Jack Taylor, not you, you scumbag. And I was only five and I poked his eye through the letterbox because we never used to open the door. You know, because we were one, too small, but two. Kids at five don't know how to bloody open doors, do they? <laughs> I don't think kids can even barely walk at five. <laughs> so, sorry, maybe nine or seven. I poked his eye through the letterbox. And then we were playing WWE on his trampoline. <laughs> back in 2009. And his brother Ellis. I don't know how it happened, but he got me into this submission move. And I fell off the trampoline and banged my head and cracked my head open. But I didn't have to go to the hospital. It's probably not why the way I am now. Uh, stupid. Um, but that was pretty interesting. And then me and Jake McCann had a fight. In fact, no, funny enough, me and him never had a fight. Never had a fight. I started giving him a load of money on my birthday for him to pay attention to me, and then he, his mum told me off, like, don't give money to strangers. And I was like, but I know him. 
He's me mate, and then he stole my Club Penguin. See, I've been a massive collector from day one. Not necessarily aviation, but Club Penguin cards. He stole all my Club Penguin cards, and I was only left with a, a pizza tosser man on Club Penguin. I was literally left with him, more like the ski guy, the black ski guy, and he stole all my Club Penguin cards. But his little brother Ellis was probably the worst. I wonder what he's doing now, he's probably knocking around with bloody scumbags. And no, Jake McCann. He was alright, but he's his dad worked at Airbus, at the, all the wings, making the wings, so at least there's a bit of a common sense going on, but he was alright, Jake McCann, but it did come to a point where we were, I was 11, he was 12, we saw each other in the street and we were kind of not happy with each other, if you know what I mean, but I don't know if we, me and him would ever meet again, obviously not, but... If he, if he probably saw me in like, probably around now, you know, because we're grown up, you know, we're, I'm 17, he's probably 18, I, you know, he'd probably just nod at me and be like, you're right, yeah. actually, funny enough, about seven years ago, six, seven years ago, I think I did see him in the street, I was only walking up the street and he saw me and I saw him, I was like, oh, what's he going to do now? Because two years before, he was saying, oh, you haven't got your dad to protect you now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You haven't got your dad to protect... I don't know what he was going to do, but he, he he had this, like, face of a little, like, uh, my nan said he looked like a little thug. You know, when you can tell they're going to be a little thug when they're about four, they start to, like, develop their dad's features. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like a little thug. And his mum was hard as nails. She was like a witch. Um... And like she would say, why don't you knock around with J and R J Canelo? And I was like, because I don't like them, because he stole all my bloody match attack cards. Bloody idiots! <laughs> <laughs> and I said, don't you remember I poked your son's eye out through the letterbox, and she gave me foul food, opened the bloody door, and go, smells like Jake McCann's food, and closed it. <laughs> yeah, but we, I, I nodded at him, and he, he went, nodded at me. About six, seven years ago. If we saw each other now, I think it'd be more of a thing like, "All right, Sam, I haven't seen you for a while." All right, Jake, how are you? All right, remember when we used to play WWE on the trampolines? He'd be like, "Yeah, you still remember that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I remember that." And then we'll talk, and then we'll get on, and then all of a sudden, you know, my little Neanderthal brain would click and go. Now those Club Penguin cards, hand them over. And he's like, no. no. And then we start, so it was like 10 years later. Twice our age. And then we start having a fight. 17 year old versus an 18 year old. And then we're battering each other over Club Penguin. So we're having an argument over something like about 10 years ago. What is this? Like a... A, a, a god, a god, a god, a god daughter and a... Yeah thingy issue, you know when women have issues and it lasts 12 years and then they're all happy and then they break up again, yeah that's women yeah so I start battering Jake McCann again like this is this is the 10 year fight we've been waiting for Jake and he's like I know and we, we're bloody battering each other and all of a sudden I'm like hang on this isn't Jake McCann hang on a minute Jake McCann and he's wearing a mask and who is it it's Michael Jackson, no it's not it's bloody aviation 18 what are you doing a you idiot how is Dallas Airport going on? He's like, oh, all right. Jim and I, Jets. I'm not Jake McCann. <laughs> all right, that'll just be creepy. <laughs> Jake McCann's wearing a mask. But it's not Jake McCann. It's Aviation 18. <laughs> As if that's his bloody name. Do you reckon that's on his bloody birth certificate? <laughs> oh. 18. I don't get that. Will it be 19 when he turns 19? Just stick with your bloody name. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you say you're putting your name on something? Yeah. That's why the videos of I don't have commentary on them, because I wouldn't be able to control what I'm saying. Jake McCann. No, it's like Muc... Like McCann's, you know, like those potatoes. McCann's, Jake McCann. Yeah, he's a little thug. <laughs> yeah. Bet someone will look him up on Facebook and be like, oh god, is that him? Send me a picture and I'll be like... That's exactly him. Yeah. Little fuggy face and like a little tight little mouth. Yeah. Though I did have some fun times on PlayStation with him. See, that was something you couldn't steal each other's PlayStation. 
<laughs> we stole each other's club penguin cards. Match attacks. He stole all my South South African match attack cards. Football players. All my Arsenal. Basically, Champions League cards. And yeah, but it was like um back then, you know, in 2007, 2006. You know, we weren't all texting each other. You know, we were we were having arguments over oh trading cards. We were. I don't think that's kids these days trading cards. I, I would, I, I doubt it. As long as it's like some weird anime thing, but you know, top trumps and all that. I don't think they exist. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, the world just changed. I, I know, I'm starting to feel like an old man now. I actually am. Starting to feel like a really, really old man. Vilva in what? But no, um, yeah, same. When I grew up, it was all trade your cards. Yeah, yeah, because it was like collect and match attacks. Cause I got yeah, and then it's called penguin cards, and you got a uh, and it's something like a uh, yeah. However, like like a golden a golden card was a rare one, and if you had that, people wanted to trade, but it would be more like at mercy of like. Oh, you've got a really good card, so I'll give you a load of quantity of a load of characters you might not have. But if you were really, and this is a good thing about, you know, collecting match attacks and stuff. If you had most of the things, you could argue like, ah, no, I'll keep this card. It's a special edition, <laughs> limited edition cards, yeah. That was all my pocket money. I only got like a packet of match attacks for like 39p. I got five pound a week. Now I'm getting ten pound a week, spending it on Gemini jet models. <laughs> so, but I'm not trading with anyone. I know. I wonder if that's a thing. Trading models with people, plane models. I know it'd be more of a thing where it'd be like, "Oh, is it in good condition? Is the landing gear all right?" And if it's not, well, you, yeah, ain't gonna be great, is it? Oh, I hate all this rubbish. Oh, God. I just want to go out into the overworld and just have a nice baguette. Have a nice baguette. I don't think we had baguettes back then. Pretty sure we did have baguettes. Tai Chi Chi Chicken. <laughs> chicken! Look at all the skinny bones. Look, it's me in the morning when I take off my top. What? When I get up in the morning and take off my top. Should it be the other way round? I'm going to bed and take off my... So I sleep in the top, do I? Who sleeps in the top in this weather? <laughs> Idiot. I don't even sleep in the top. I sleep in bloody... Swimming trunks. I do. Yeah, I sleep in swimming trunks. <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> oh. I sleep in swimming trunks. I do. I sleep in swimming trunks. <laughs> it's what I sleep in. <laughs> I don't sleep in, like, a, a dressing gown or... A, I don't know, like undies. I sleep in swimming trunks. I actually do. Because <laughs> you can wear swimming trunks for anything, can't you? You can. Restaurant when you're on holiday, it's acceptable. In the swimming pool. It's like pasta. It goes with anything. <laughs> I'll be sleeping in pasta shells next week. Listen to me, it's like a squeaky mouse. <laughs> when I start laughing, my, my voice goes all weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is some sort of joke. <laughs> Look at this. Look at those bloody skeletons and me. <laughs> Shocking touch. <laughs> Maybe it just falls to pieces. <laughs> oh, God. At least you bring humour in these hard times. No, it's nearly over in the UK, this virus, isn't it? Going to the airport next week, we've already booked it, we've already booked it. We've got a tour on the 12th. Concord tour. I don't think that would be running. If it is, I'd eat my hat. Yeah, so if I die again in this video, I'll post pictures of me and my mates playing around in the woods. Because everyone wants to, I mean, it's not a matter of like, even if it's like a, you know, like a, like, like a punishment. Do you even want to see it? What stupid things from November last year of me and my mates just I mean me and me twin mates Luke and Robert just you know going back to the shop and back and just kicking a ball around the 
bloody dirty pond and then there's like a, a river and then there's like a it's near my area and then we find a ball he kicks it down the it's like a ravine and then there's like a road and then he, Robert nearly slips into this gutter god it's ridiculous I was watching it the other day and I was like isn't it stupid the stuff your mates do with you look at them they're all like they walk like they're doing like the boogie or something <laughs> Uh, play Hunger Games. No! We're not playing Hunger Games. Good point. How are you going to collect Jet 2 models and 2E? Oh, easy. You can find... Because I'm not collecting just Gemini Jets. That'd be bloody stupid. But um, I'm collecting like Herper Wings and NG. Because NG do um, um, holiday... Package holiday airlines like 2E. We've got... A, a nice looking 2757. But Gemini Jets 2757 molds are very good, so I don't know. How about 1 to 200, Smart24 says? Uh, oh, Smart24. Smart <laughs> 1, to, 1 to 200 models. 1 to 200 models aren't really collectors. They're not. 1 to 200 is more an ornament. It's more of something you. I mean. Gemini Jet ones aren't toys. You don't pretend to take off and land with them. You don't do that. Because they're highly fragile, delicate models. Die cast. My dad said, oh, I would. I'd be like, no, you wouldn't. Um, if you want to play around with toy aeroplanes, you get a toy aeroplane. The Skymarks ones even are quite delicate. Because I busted one of the wheels off my A330 Thomas Cook. But, um, one thing, um, JC Wings do have is a pretty nice looking, uh, Thomas Cook 757-300er. Not one I would have fl flown on, 2014, but we've got a Thomas Cook A330, um, Sun, Sunheart livery, you know, the, um, LGBT, um, Rainbow Heart, yeah, we've got that. So I might buy that. Whee! <laughs> Thomas Cook going up again. <laughs> yeah, going up again. Oh, he's got erection problems, that lad. Like Thomas Cock. Always going higher. How do I even do this? Bet something stupid, like... How do you even do this? Is it to open that, or... Hard. <sighs> oh, a key. I've got a key. If this opens this, I'll eat my hat. Oh my god. I've had to do some crazy combination. Go on, burn away. I want to take off its head. It's funny when the head goes flying. <laughs> Whee! Oh, look, it landed there! What does it have on it? Bow meal. <laughs> Another ornament. You're right, 1 to 200 is more a, sorry, a collector's, I'm reading it all wrong. A collectible ornament, yeah. 1 to 400 is more, yeah, collector's. Like, um, right size for kind of like a, an airport. Because 1 to 200, the wingspan, you know, you'd be, you'd be taking up all apron space. You wouldn't want to be doing that with two. I'm glad people understand this. If I was talking about this in front of just a normal gaming audience, I'd be like... Oh, have you done the Black Brotherhood? I'm glad we game and all these lot can have a good old chatty about it. I mean, there's 20 people watching. 27. I don't know where the other bloody... Oh. 13 went. We had 40 at the start of this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was actually thinking of maybe giving my, my dad a bit of money for lending me the thing. And I was like, how much was the um, <laughs> United plane? Because I pay it through my dad's um, Amazon account. It goes out of his uh, PayPal. I know he doesn't use PayPal anymore. He says it's greedy. It is. I do don't use PayPal. It's part of eBay. He says it all. Um, he's going to shoot me. Um, oh, yeah. I say I'll give you interest. I'm uh, sorry, I'll give you. Can I have 80% M tight? Ask tight. 
He said just put the decimal point the other way, and I said, oh yeah, 20. So, I didn't. so 80% of 42. 80% of 42. Two. Just put the decimal point the other way. 80%. 42. 42. That's 37. 7. 7 pound. No, no, because if it's 20. Out of 80 to 100%. That's f 2 pound. Because I just put the decimal point the other way. Two pound. So, I owe him two pound. <laughs> oh my god. What I'd say, oh. No, that's not right. Two pound. Six pound, idiot. How did I even get. How did I even get that wrong? It's the midnight. Something's creeping out the dark. Let's not even have a lyrics go. The man singing with JC JC Virix, I don't know her name is. <laughs> what happened then? I love it when her head goes flying off. Oh, I, I, I'm sitting every year. I'm like slouched. I'm not even speaking into the microphone. I'm like, I'm like hunched over, like I'm fatter than fatty arbuckle. I'm my legs are like all down here. I'm not even sitting correctly. I'm not even sitting in the correct microphone position. Definitely losing my mark. Stressful shit. <laughs> I wanna go in the interface. Where am I? In the cave. Oh. That's what I meant to go. I meant to follow up. Because there's this crap in Skyrim, isn't there? Oh god. My mum's bloody pans. <laughs> Hello, idiot. You're going to get knocked down. Oh, no, but he doesn't get knocked down, though, does he? No. He... Bloody invincible, is he? How? I like I go, ha. We both hurt ourselves. It was like that Minecraft player the other night. Sorry, I mean last night. Oh, there's another one coming. Look at that. Skill. Oh! It's the midnight. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, they come out of caskets. Ah, healing potions. Lovely. I, 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 after I do that, I can still enter the interface when I'm in the chest. That must be Skyrim or something. Yeah. Helix! I'm so used to, to what this game's called. <laughs> Ooh. Don't we all breathe one day? Where now? Is that Wales going past? Wales. Alex Jones. Alters. A bone? I could have made that. <laughs> Oh, just watch for traps, idiot. There's gonna be like a massive skeleton boss. Of course there's gonna be a bloody wizard. Wizard of Oz is here. Hang on, what spell have I got? Ah, oh, I've got that. Maybe we could get a headshot and a bow. Get your bow, bow. Or maybe I'm meant to speak to him, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know how we accidentally killing the lad. What does more, iron or steel? Uh. There we go. Oh no, you can't do the thing in Skyrim where you can. Oh, I did a lot of damage then. Oh, that was a good dodge. Good dodge from Tenny Expert. Right, this will have to be a half and half. He's poisoned me. Is he fire resistant? No, he's not. He's a. He's a mage. Oh, he's got a little dagger. Oh, that was a good shot. Wait. <laughs> oh, and then the pot of semen. Oh, God. Dark shirt. Copper ring. We don't do anything. It's nothing. Very interesting, though. 
Remember when you first played this game? Yeah, I do. Oh, I've got a lot of money behind the that. Ho, ho, ho. Money, money, money. It's so funny. We're no rich man. We'll... There we go, look at that. Look at all this. Leg pop pet box. A paste maker and a pestle. I only know what they are because I've been cooking with me nan. Not recently, last year. I remember something from a year ago. <laughs> Memory must be good. Ooh. A fine iron longsword. Free damage. That was 100% health. 3% was that? Uh, <laughs> Opera singer, here we go again. Um, that doesn't do anything from the steel mace. That's the end of the steel mace, guys. Where's the sword gone? Where's the fine long sword? I like it. It's got like a little clipper at the end of it. A little tongue. I reported you and Mason once for bringing in a knife at school and was like trying to explain the knife to the teacher because my dad said you should report it. He's got his hand out, look. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> the end boss was Michael Jackson. Um, and yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, Luke said, oh yeah. He helped me diagnose the, the cause and yeah. He said the, the knife had a tongue on it. Yeah, you and Mason brought in a knife at, at school once. He said he was going to kill the teacher. I think he got permanently excluded. Yeah, you and Mason was funny. He used to watch violent TV shows and think it was all real. Because that was you and Mason. <laughs> Fat kid. He was alright, you and Mason. He was a nice lad. He would never do anyone any harm. Unless when me and him had a... A tamper. Tem temper tantrum. Tentra tamper, or whatever it's called. I don't have a proper tampon. Um, in the in the toilets, we had a right bloody argument, and then we ended up fighting each other. What was that? A warhammer? I mean, yeah, he's got a warhammer. Blacksmith's pants. A torch. I haven't had a torch for ages. I'll donate a model if you want, from Smart Twenty Four. I mean. You can do, mate. Oh, God, it's not like Richard. You can, I mean, you can do, mate. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, if you want to, you can donate a model. I mean, you want to be paid back? I don't know. It's all a negotiation, isn't it? No, for free. Loyal fan. Me to you. All right. Fair enough. If you want, if you want to send me a model, by all means, you can send me one. No problemo with that, but, 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 um, yeah, I'll have to either, oh, how could I do this? If you want to send it, yeah, Sam Lockie on Facebook, just message me on Facebook and just say, Smart24, and I'll ask a question if it's definitely you, do a code thing, just in case it could be anyone else. Um, I wonder how could I send a code to him? I don't know. Yeah, Sam Lockett. On Facebook. I just have to, have, you know, diagnose it to you. Send what you want over. <laughs> send what you want over anything. It's the bomb. Uh, our, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'll have to send it. Or maybe I could do it for, like, a website. It's my personal details on that mercy because I'm all worried about that and then go gets delivered oh I'll, I'll just put I'll just link where my nearest Royal Mail post office services to you so you can I don't know where you live ship it or it will be collected there um, and brought in the post to me because I don't want to go out at a moment I'm sort of so self isolating um, but, I mean, that's it, you've got to stay inside like you've got it, haven't you? But no, you can send a model, it might take like a week or two weeks for the whole process. But I mean, yeah, you can send a model if you want. <laughs> I mean, I've just uh, bought a Iceland Air. Um, what would it be? What, what, what model would you want to send over? Smart 24, I mean, by all means, it, 
I'll give you a massive shout out and I'll make a community post all about you. <laughs> we gaming can eat your hat. No, no, I'm joking. We gaming. We, we all like each other in this world, don't we? Or maybe just in this video. Maybe not in the world. That's a bit big. We gaming says, I would. I have nothing. <laughs> no, no, you keep collecting, sir. You keep collecting your models. Smart24 seems to have um, a bit more of a. How can I put it delicately? I have no choice. Yeah, he's got more, more of a range of models. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mind having any odd model, but yeah. Would you like the RJ? Uh, can I? Can I? <laughs> Canada? I like how we're just negotiating models just on the internet on a live stream. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anything really. Um. So ERJ Embryo ERJ. What one thousand? Air Canada Express. Yeah, by all means. I've seen how small it is, but yeah, you can send it if you want. One to four hundred. Yeah, I know. One to four hundred. Or uh, Nippon. Oh, A and A. An A and A seven eight seven. Yeah, if you want, <laughs> send anything over. Send the two if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, pro just to make it easy. Yeah, probably V. ERJ. Wouldn't mind that. I've also got. I do want V. Oh, I'll keep going. Southwest Tennessee livery. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. The red one. With stars on it. Blue. Yeah, I've seen that. They asked me a month ago about this. I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I I have a v I don't really fancy the A and A. Or nip on airway. I don't, I don't fancy that one, but I fancy yeah, either the ERJ Air Canada or the um seven three seven seven three seven seven three seven uh Southwest Tennessee livery. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Either either one. I I'll do an eeny meeny miny mo. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a a wolf by the by the tail. Eeny meeny miny mo. I choose you to go. Uh, which one's got the G in it? Uh, Air Canada E R J. Uh, G. Uh, Southwest. <laughs> um, that no, would be the one with the G in it. Um, no, uh, okay, the southwest is on the left, ERJ is on the right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Thingy, thingy, by the toe. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I choose you to go. Yeah, southwest. Tennessee livery. Please? <laughs> yeah, I'll have that. I'll, I mean, by all means, send it over. I'm not, you know, really hungry for them. Who am I fooling? I am. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to, I mean, if you want to, I mean, I don't want you to do it if you feel you're at mercy of losing the model or you feel pressured, but no, I understand if you don't want to, but yeah, if you want to, if you're totally fine with it, I'm, I'm alright to have another model. Yeah. Alright, message you on Facebook, maybe on Saturday. Saturday, yeah, that's about right. Saturday. Why do you need to clean it and disinfect it? <laughs> All the paint runs off it, and I'm like, oh, Smile 24. It's just a white plane now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Just bought it as well. Oh, has yeah. Just arrived, has it? Yeah, because that's a new livery. What's on the Gemini Jet? New liveries. Um, also got an airport with a hangar. Hangar, oh yeah, the hangar's £79, isn't it? I mean, I'll do it all. I mean, I want to have like a big desk so I can put the airport runway on. I mean, I've seen Aviation 18. What he did once he had a load of these, um, you know, what do they call Vol... Um, Volspire, Volspire. I've got... I like, um, colour. Yeah, vo Volspar, Volspar, find your colour. And they're like, um... You can just take them with you. 
mixed in Volspa paints to ensure colour accuracy. Yeah, for somewhere in B and Q in my area, Wallasey, um, and you can get, um, yeah, you can basically get different kind of tones of colour, and I could maybe paint the table. It would have to be like a a very smooth plank of wood, and my dad would probably put that together for me, like a, a makeshift table. But, you know, probably seven feet long by uh, four feet wide. Four feet wide, four foot wide, yeah, four feet wide, sorry. Four feet, yeah, four feet. So quite a big table, our dining room's big enough for that. Yeah, I'd be with that. Would you upload update videos on the Sam Lockett channel or this channel? Actually, funny enough, I think I would rather upload it. I think the right place to upload it, and this is just in my heart, I feel like, yeah, the Sam Lockett channel, but... I don't really want to be doing commentaries over that. I kind of want that just to remain as plain spotting. Um, but commentaries, I feel like I can... I know I know, I'm still me at the end of the day. For how long I've been doing YouTube for. But I feel like... I just loaded in. Uh, I feel like I'm more comfortable commentating on this channel. Because I know... I wouldn't say I know who I am. Sounds like I'm putting on... A character, but I feel like you know. I, I feel like people know me. I feel like if I did it on Sam Lockett channel, people like, hey, you know what I mean? I kind of like the Sam Lockett channel just being just station. I know it's a really difficult situation having two channels. Um, maybe in the Sam Lockett Trevor Expert Extra, yeah, I could could upload it on there. If anything, that would be a better place to upload it. But I feel like true heart of aviation, it would be. I think nicer to see on this channel than the channel than the Sam Lockett channel. I feel like the Sam Lockett channel is yeah aviation, but more videography of aviation. Um, is that Barbus the dog of Skyrim? <laughs> it is. Hey pal, I haven't seen you for a while, man. I remember him. Do it on this channel by all means. Unbox on the Sam Locket, upload on this of updates. Yeah, live updates of Manchester. I just don't want to look like a fool. Like, why is the track about uploading gaming and then bloody? I don't want to be doing two different things at once. I mean, I feel like I should upload on the Sam Locket channel, and I probably will end up doing that because I just feel like now I should really upload it. Because at first I feel like yeah, I could maybe make those update videos, but I feel like maybe I should record it. What channel should I put it on? Sam Lockett with a Trey Expert one. I think the Trey Expert one would be more appropriate. Yeah, Wii Gaming says that. Smile24 says. If you have an aviation channel, maybe on that one. Yeah, I know. It's. I'm also going to just thank you two for keeping your manner between each other. I know. Yeah. What well, one, one knows a bit about aviation, whereas Wii Gaming's more. You know. He's like me, Wii Gaming, you know. He, we still kind of collecting the models in our early age, and yeah. So, thanks for. I know just three people, three geeks, talking about planes in a. Sl you don't get this anywhere else on YouTube. This sort of contact, do you? Or do you? I don't know. But yeah, by all means, send the models if you want. I'll just have to decide what channel I want to. Unboxings are on the Sam Locker channel. Uh, updates. I know I don't know if I'd want to talk over them necessarily, but but I'm talking like in a year. My channel could be expired by then. You know what I mean? <laughs> Terminated by. I see. I think my channel will get to copper. I was certain my channel was going to go. Thirty first of March. YouTube updating their terms of service. I thought it was going to go then. So whenever YouTube do activity. Put a date on it. I worry for a month. And now I've got something to worry about. This bloody virus. <laughs> In fact, no, the virus doesn't affect me. It only affects me because I can't go to places I want to be. If I was homebound all the time. If I was... <laughs> I don't want to sound mean. But if I was... If I was bloody paralysed. I wouldn't know any difference. If you know what I mean. Just 
take me around the block in my wheelchair. <laughs> like you do every day. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> take me around the block in my wheelchair like you do every day. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, you know, you should be appreciative if you have legs, guys. But if you're paralysed and if you've got legs, that's when you can't move anything. Stephen Dawkins, whatever his name is. Stephen Hawkins. Richard Dawkins. Oh, I don't know who it is, but... Professor Daw Hawkins. You know, he made a good life, didn't he? But... <laughs> you know when they say from the comfort of your own, of your, you know, like home shopping at the comfort of your own chair at home. <laughs> online shopping on Amazon. Shopping online from the comfort of your own seat at home. Well, I was about to say Stephen Hawkins had a good life. <laughs> All from the seat at home. There's only seat at home. There's only one. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You know people that are paralysed? Do we have like a sofa in a city? Or do we just sit in a chair all day? It's just not. Makes you wonder. <laughs> Stevie, wonder. <laughs> Makes you wonder if... Is it worth it? Or is it... I don't know. We have to give birth to it. Oh god! <laughs> oh no, you would just chuck it out the window though. <laughs> if it was yours. <laughs> oh my god! I wouldn't. No. If I had a baby. If I had a baby. Oh, there we go. It's not models getting collected to me now. It's probably babies arriving on my doorstep. <laughs> like that bloody film. What's it called? And the baby arrives on her doorstep and she looks after it, I don't know what it's called. Um, some shitty Disney movie. And um, I'm gonna slag off Marvel now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, my child was... <laughs> um, I don't know. Homebound or was just paralysed. I don't know, what, what could you do? You couldn't take it to the airport every day, could you? If it can't do anything with the planes. You can't do anything with the planes anyway, but imagine not even being able to control where you want to go. I want to go home. But Dad, I want to go home. Um, you can't. And when I say you can't, you actually can't. Because <laughs> my hands can control your mobility. <laughs> so I just end up chopping my hands off. <laughs> there we are, never going home now, we're going to be watching these easy jets take off. I'm going to be writing them down in my notebook as you freeze to death. There you are, you can move now, you're shivering. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, that's the most offensive thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. You know what, that isn't really not funny, I, I don't even feel like leaving that in, that's disgusting. Oh god. You know, where do we get these jokes? Where do- where does- I don't, I'm not influenced. I'm not influenced, I promise it just... It just... It just emerges in my mind, like my brain. You know your brain, can you... You know, because like your- your brain is your brain. And like you're in charge of your brain. Or is your brain in charge of you, I don't know. Um. Can you control your brain not to have a brain tumour? And you'd be like, hey, work harder, get it out. And it goes. Interesting that. <laughs> oh no, could it happen? Mm -hmm. I'm crying. What, just from that? Shaking. Yeah. <sighs> At a restaurant, five star restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Will you bloody keep still? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, why would it be moving? <laughs> it's paralysed. A paralysed child. Right, we've got a paralysed child here. Let's just pretend, to make it not offensive, let's just pretend it's me. Paralysed child, and I've got a dad. And I'm like, right, right, dad, dad, I wanna... Um, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Alright, just let me finish me, me, me dinner. 
and then I'll, and then I'll let you go to the toilet. All right. So he's dying there for a poo, sitting in his chair, can't move, and then um, I forget about him. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and then um, this will be in the news tomorrow, <laughs> and then the old nation of Britain will be like, <laughs> probably cheer them up in this bloody pandemic. Yeah, just think how it is to feel bloody paralysed. I I I I <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little, a little completely snails in my mouth. <laughs> ALS ice bucket challenge. No, the paralysation challenge. Stay at home all day. COVID-19. Yeah, so I'll just leave my child just to shit himself in a five-star restaurant. <laughs> oh, who's done that other smell? <laughs> Is it you, sir? No, it's my son. And when I say you can't help it, you actually can't help it. But blame him. And then the... They're like unstrapping him from his wheelchair and they're like, right, let's clean you up. But he just falls on the floor because he's paralysed and he can't find his feet. Um, um, and he, he's cleaned himself up and then he's like, Dad, why did you let me shit myself? And I'm like, oh, I forgot about you. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I forgot about you, but at least... At least, at least, <laughs> at least I still, at least, at least, at least, at least, at least I don't forget how to move, unlike you. Oh no, it's, it's nasty, this is really nasty. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> At the theme park. Oh my god, no, uh, you're allowed to, <laughs> you're allowed to, you're allowed to strap in wheelchairs <laughs> to a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Just need to get the harness. <laughs> All right, right, son. You get the wheels. Just put like into like um. <laughs> yeah, when you get like a what's it called, like um, a parking ticket, and you get a, a clamp on your car, like clamps on the on the wheelchair wheels. And he's like sitting there on the. Right, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go really fast, fast, son, on this uh on this roller coaster. Just just remember to hold on tight. And um yeah. yeah. So so what I do I I, <laughs> I strap myself in. And because he's in the wheelchair, his seat belt's behind him. So he can't get it. He wouldn't be able to get it anyway. So I'm like, right, okay. Right, remember remember to hold on tight to the bars in front of you when we you know, when when, when we go when we go, you know, <laughs> whizzing up. And he's like Mm-hmm. But but dad, but dad and I'm like, hey, here we go, we're going to go, we're going now. And he's like, but dad, but dad, I'm paralyzed, I can't I can't hold on to the I can't hold on to anything. And then and then we end up going up and up and up and then you know the roller coaster it goes uh, and then it do drops and I'm like, right son, hold on now and and then I'm like, Oh he's paralyzed dad, can he really hold on? He hasn't got a seatbelt and he, he just goes launching at the <laughs> at the uh, at, at, at the uh, at, what's it called, the cradle on the on the on the roller coaster. I'm like, son and he's like Mm, like a dart, because <laughs> he can't <laughs> move his limbs. He's like a dart going through the air, and I'm like, mm, you know, because we're travelling. He's travelling in the sky out of his wheelchair. You know, we just like perpendicular. He just lands back in the seat again, and I'm like, did you enjoy that? And he was like, mm-hmm, great roller coaster. What could you see from up there? Not much, because I can't turn my head. And I'm like, oh yeah, of course. Hmm. What, what next? Should we go in the roller? Should we go in the um? Yeah, in the swimming pool. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he can't swim. And I'm like, it's all right. We'll just put armbands on the wheels. <laughs> armbands on the wheels. <laughs> we'll put armbands on the bloody wheels. Oh, I know where I am. Armbands on the wheels of a wheelchair. And he's like floating on the water on a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, it's not funny to mock disability, is it? It's not funny. If it was me, I mean, I, yeah, I'd probably find it funny, but... Yeah. I mean, I am a little bit disabled, aren't I? I'd be dyslexia. I mean... There's one thing, not being able to move, and there's another thing, not being able to bloody read. You know what I mean? What would you rather have? I can't read anything. I can't read bloody crap. N-E. North East. I feel sorry for you too. <laughs> God. 
It's not funny. Like, where's it? Terrible bloody influencer. Oh, I mean, it's not funny to mock disability. It's just funny at the end of the day. Yeah, and I suppose it is weak. You still get smart any for whatever you. Whoever it is, texting, commenting, stuff. I'm gonna go. If you enjoyed the bloody video, I went to kill some skeletons. Oh, yeah. I can't stop yawning. I'm gonna have a lime jelly after this, lovely. Um, I've got a receipt from Jetstream. Aviation models and toys. Just take out the toys in the end. Aviation 18, something, something, never. United, that's it. United, it says what I've bought, it came in the package. It's a massive box. My A319 said, yeah, I love it. Despite the landing gears broke on it. Yeah, it's the left landing gear is broken United A319 registration N876UA got that N876UA so new livery I'm trying, I'm trying to work out um, what's it called Phonic, phonics so Lima Golf Tango Charlie Charlie Alpha um, N. What, what's N in the bloody... H's Hotel. Alpha. What's you? What's you? What, what's you in the... In the... I'll get this bloody crap off. <laughs> what's you? Is it... I'm gonna have to look it up. What's what's you on the thing? New livery, yeah, it's the United New Livery. Oh, what's what's new N on the hang on, I'm trying to work out. Oh. Well Google is never good, is it? In Phonetics. That's phonetics, yeah. Sorry, Wii game. See, I didn't even learn it. It's N876UA. What's N? What's N? N. 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 N87. A is Alpha. S is Sierra. N is. Is N November? N you never. Try to look it up my phone. I can't really find it. N eight seven six UA. That's the registration for the United. N I think I think it's November, isn't it? On the phonetic alphabet. N N is November. N eight seven six. You what's you? Alpha U. What's you? My dad said school unif uniform, that's it. So, November 876, uniform alpha. That's the registration it is. Doesn't my, my, my phone thing is my phone. New livery. Item code. I'm not going to say what it is. It's £35. That's how much the model was. For a 1 to 400. Nice model. Sam would be Sierra Alpha Mike. Yeah, it would. I learned phonetics like in year five and I can't even remember them. T is tango. Um Yeah, M is Mike. Lima. Um What's O? Oh. I don't even know. I give up with bloody phonetics. See, this is why I didn't do well in English. Better in maths. Anyway, see you all later if you enjoyed. Oblivion. See you tomorrow for Rage 2. I know. Uh, oh, yeah. QA Wednesday. I'll show you the model then. Yeah. See you later. Bye.